to see how to integrate Gemini 2.0 APIs in your Android app, which is the latest version 2.0. So let's see first let's see a demo so i've already created an app and when i run it saying say for example uh putting a prompt of how are you it responds something pretty good to me and say for example if i change the prompt i'll use some other prompt say for example could you write a story about something like some animal cats and dogs let's see what it responds so i'm just zooming in. it may take a while because it will go to the APIs and all and it will come back and return the value. So, okay, so it came back. So, all the Victorian house, painted a faded, blah, 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 blah. So, this is a long story. It's, it's trying to uh, respond. So let's see the code quickly, how it is done. So, code is pretty much simple and straightforward. But before I get into code, so the model I'm using is Gemini 2.0 Flash and you will need the API key. So, let me show you how you can get it. So, go to your Google AI Studio, log in with your Gmail account and all. And then you can go to this get api key and if it's not already created you can just create and get it okay and uh, once you have it and for the code part of course you can refer to my code also but uh, here also they provide the code so here they provide in different versions like android curl python and all so whichever version you want you can use the respective version to do the coding so this is what i am using so Gemini. okay so if i switch back to android this is what I, I'm using the Gemini 2.0 flash version and I'm giving the respective API key. So let me see, show you the actual code which I have done here. So code is pretty much straightforward. So I'm just uh, defining first the widgets, which is basically the edit text, this button and the text view where the output are printed and then the model name and the API key. And in the on grid, I'm just uh, putting the widgets there and then setting the on click listener to the button. Once that is done, then I'm just calling the generate text method, which is doing the main part over here. So over here, in the generate text, we are first defining the model, uh, which is based on the model name and the API key. And then in this model, I'm just calling the uh, generate content, which is a, a method of this model. So this model is uh, coming from a particular library. So let me show you that also. So I have defined the library over here in the implementation uh, part. So you have to define this uh, in your Gradle and sync it so that it can come over here and once that model is there uh, then you can generate the content and uh, you have to use something called coroutine so that it's asynchronized not synchronized in your uh, like in the main thread and all and if then the override methods will come automatically which is basically coroutine context and resume with and in the resume with the once this content is uh, created the results are there then you can use the whatever you want to do so here what i'm doing is if content is null then uh, of course logging you can do and but based on uh, apart from logging i'm learning on ui thread this is a because that's a separate thread, right so i have to switch back to uh, ui thread to print my output in the text view response over here and that's all i guess so let me rerun this code so before uh, rerunning i just pause the video and change the api key above uh, yeah so the code has come back and so for example i can put any prompt here so i can say write a poem about mango tree let's see what it says so it's just randomly i'm giving some prompt to see what it's able to generate so the response should come over here perfect so it gave me some particular poem and that's all yeah so this is how you can use the uh, gemini 2.0 in your android app and it's more or less free as long as you are within that uh, usage limit and you can use this API key uh, produced from the Google um, AI Studio part. So that should work fine. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comments below. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.